<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Cicadas. Everybody's talking about them. Let's see if we can go find a few. I've started seeing people talking about them showing up in people's yards, so I decided after picking up the kids from school today, you know what? I'm going to walk outside, and we're going to see if we can find any. And you know what? Uh, we are finding quite a few. Got another, another one here. We got one right here whose wings are starting to dry. He's just kind of come out. Everything's still wet. I think the cat was playing with this one, maybe. But everyone's kind of scared of these guys because they have these crazy looking red eyes. Sorry, see if I can get it to focus there. These are not your annuals. These are a 13 year cicada. So they're able to go underground and they live the vast majority of their life as the larval stage. And then they come back out, live like these guys for a few weeks, mate. Have some babies and that's all you hear for over a decade. Here's another one down here. We got one, two, three, four. They're just all over this bush. They truly are one of the more incredible wildlife stories that we have in this country. This is the first year in over 200 years you're gonna have both a 13 year and the 17 year cicada all come out at the same time. Here in South Carolina, you're not gonna have to worry about it because I don't believe these swarms are actually going to, oh, I think we might. No, we don't. Uh, these swarms are actually not going to overlap. The 13 year swarm is gonna be more uh, Illinois, Indiana, that area. And then we have the, the big giant Southern swarm, which whenever I had first moved to South Carolina, or first moved to Greenwood, not long after we had the last 13 year swarm and it was incredible. I went to work one day and I didn't hear them. And then I came out that evening and they were absolutely everywhere. Trying to see what's going on. See what we can see around here. Oh, wow. There's another good one. Check that out. That is so cool. Wow. There's another one right here. They're so cool. Here's one that's been out for a little bit. Its wings are already straightened out. A few hours. Be good to go. There's another one. Already starting to get some dark spots on its thorax there. There's another one right there. One more down here. One more right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this is incredible. I know some of y'all are thinking this is just a horror movie. And when is the monster gonna jump out and get me? But these guys are all harmless. Wow. I have a feeling that in the next couple days, these things are going to be going nuts. Zoom out here so you can see a little better. There's one, there's one, there's one. There's like a dozen more. <laughs> Look, here we go, we've got some actually emerging from the ground. I don't know if you can hear it, but like just listening to the leaves, they are everywhere. Some right there, some right there, all up on these leaves. Up 
on the tops. Yeah, today is, uh, I can't remember what today is. Today's Thursday. I'm really bad with keeping track of the date, but. But yeah, I think this weekend. Oh, just felt one crawl on my toe. <laughs> ah, this is incredible. There's one there. Some there. There, there. Let's walk over here. I hear them everywhere. Look, there's a couple there coming out. There's a couple down here that have already hatched, that have been knocked off. There's a new one. There you go, bud. Look at them all fighting over this little, <laughs> this little piece of grass. This little plant. Oh my gracious. Look at this. They have just crawled out. Four more. Boom, boom, boom. I hear more over here. I don't see them yet. Oh, there they go. We got one down here. We got one here. And these are the holes they're coming out of. You're going to come out and you're going to see lots of little holes. I hear them all over the place in this corner. Well, I appreciate y'all sticking around and watching all that. Uh, just a few points here at the end. I know that looked like a lot of cicadas, but this is very early on in the um, the brood starting to wing out. And there's gonna be a whole lot more than that coming soon. So I may be uh, going back out and trying to get some more videos. Most of this was shot 11 o'clock to midnight. Um, I was playing games and came home and was like, I'll just take a peek. And sure enough, they were everywhere. A few points that I don't think I mentioned in the video. A lot of people are like, oh, my dog, my cat, oh, they're going to die if they eat these things. They're not poisonous, which is also not the same thing as venomous. We're going to be doing videos on that at some point too, because that's my pet peeve. They can't bite you. When they get to this point, all they have is a small little tube that they're basically able to suck sap out of trees and things like that. So they, they don't even have chewing mouth parts, so you don't have to worry about that. They will be around for several weeks as more and more of them are coming out. Their horizon for when they die will get later and later. They all live about four to six weeks, give or take. One of the really neat features of this cicada, being able to uh, come out, live, and then have this long span that they're waiting to uh, come back out to breed again, is a lot of the predators that focus primarily on cicadas, such as cicada killers, which are an incredibly big hornet, um, the year after these giant swarms come out, their numbers explode. So they don't really have to worry about that extra pressure from predators the following year. They get to wait, 
and then the annuals and periodical uh, cicadas that come out every one or two years, they have to take that hit, but they don't. So they're able to kind of avoid um, that extra pressure. So it's a neat little survival tactic that keeps their numbers incredibly high, which is why whenever we have these swarms, they're not really impacted nearly as bad um, as the others are. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you in the next one.